So I have had the pleasure of reading and seeing your mother's art and the book. So tell us, just give us like a brief synopsis of the book. Tell us about it. So Finding Zoe Through Her Art is a son's journey to get to know his dead mother through her art. And tagline. So I've had to use that a lot. But, but it, you need that elevator pitch. Oh, for sure. Yeah, my mom died when I was 18. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm 37 now. And at 18, I was a punk kid. Didn't really think too much about it. I was at college on the soccer team in a fraternity. And when my mom passed, it was supposed to be intense. But I feel that I let it just go on. And I didn't mourn so much. I went through the ceremonies. Uh, We spread the ashes, which seemed comical, and just moved on. And I didn't think much about it. And I think a lot of that had to do with the way my relationship with her was before that, where I was more of just an independent kid, had good grades at school, focused on soccer, but didn't really, I don't have a lot of memories. I think it was, it was, it seemed sad. So as I got older and sort of in the thirties, I was in Chile on a long 12 hour, uh, 12 hour drive up north and I wrote a letter to her sort of saying, Hey mom, just want to let you know here, here I am. How's my life? My update Mm -hmm. at the time I was uh, married, had the dog, racing bikes. So just kind of let her know what you would in a, in a postcard kind of thing. Yeah. But there's a part in that letter where I talk about how when I last saw her, she, she was in a Walker. She had lupus and always struggled with lupus, big, big autoimmune deficiency yeah. and with that came so many complications and part of that was she had a walker so i remember going home storming into the house taking some food and clothes and whatever you do as a college kid when you go home and she's like look look don't what, what, what do you think of what do you think of my walker and she kind of comes in and i remember thinking that it was fake or it was just it wasn't real i said that looks pathetic and sort of ran out the ran out the door and wheelied away on my motorcycle into the sunset and then yeah. Then a week later, she died, mm-hmm. and that was the last I said to her: "Was you look pathetic?" Yeah. And uh, and I I'm I'm, at con- I'm content with where I stand with that now, and I wouldn't say that was the whole goal of the book, but because of that, I did feel like wow, there shouldn't be a line such like that. There must be a way to speak with people mm-hmm. beyond sure. just the end of that. And so I tried to make a bunch of money selling her art because her art. Is I think objectively good. Objectively good. It's it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Yeah, she's yeah. she's quite the artist. Yeah, but it's the eye in the beholder. So many times when you look at it, it's like oh that's good, and you can see a lot of really good art. So what yeah. makes one piece of really good art stand out to the next piece of really good art? So so I thought I'm gonna make us. I'm gonna find the stories behind the the pictures. 